Uh, Sean Ed Whittle, I'm 25 and I'm originally from Wales but I'm living in Lockman Bridge. I suppose my parents did a lot of hunting so they always had hunters at home so I had a pony before I could walk, uh, did pony club hunting and then through the pony club started doing pony racing and um, kind of got hooked on racing that way. And then I was at Rebecca Curtis's since I was 15, I was there for three full seasons and then I tipped around on a few smaller yards, point to point yards and pre-training yards and then I went to Tom Lacey's, I was there for three seasons, um, learned a lot of Tom's, uh, left Tom Lacey's just before Christmas, uh, well just over a year ago, um, was, was at home for Christmas and then didn't have a job or didn't really know what I wanted to do, uh, ended up putting an ad on Facebook or something like that and Aidan Fitzgerald rang me um, and then he said come over to Ireland for a, for a week there. So I came over, sort of uh, enjoyed the week and then ended up riding a winner at the end on the weekend. He gave me a spin and he ended up winning so I had to come back then. I rode a couple of winners there under rules for Tom Lacey when I was in England. Um, but my probably my biggest achievement over here is riding Magical Zoe um, in a bumper in Cork for, for Aidan's brother Barry Fitzgerald. Um, she's now one of the favourites for the Mayor's Hurdle at Cheltenham so they're probably the biggest one. To, to ride more winners than I did last season, probably getting rides would be the biggest challenge. Obviously not actually being Irish doesn't help and then, you know, uh, being a girl, it's still a bit of an issue there even though it's not as bad as it used to be. Constitution Hill or Native River. I say Native River would have been a hell of a spin. The Grand National, always. <laughs> Probably be at home with Dad on the farm. <laughs> Probably training. There's a good farm at home there and, you know, I quite enjoy that side of it as well, so. Probably training. <laughs>